What's up guys, welcome to vSexualization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Quick question, do you know how to restrict data access for specific users in Power BI? If not, today guys I'm going to show you how to do this by implementing dynamic row level security with Power BI step by step. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you will be up to date with the Power BI icon. So now, let's do this. For today's tutorial, we have three different points. The first one, we're going to talk about role level security. We're going to talk about two different methods here. The first one is going to be about the static method. The second one is the dynamic method. And this is the reason for this tutorial. Second point here, we're going to talk about steps to create role level security in Power BI. And finally, guys, as always, a really nice case here to put everything into practice. So now let's move on to the first point. Role level security. Like it says right here, role level security with Power BI can be used to restrict data access for giving users. So we can restrict data based on any type of role or maybe for a specific region or area right so we can do that also here we have role level security with static method and it uses a fixed value in the dax filter as a matter of fact i already created a tutorial about this type of method so i'm going to share with you guys the link if you want to take a look at it okay the second point here is about role level security with the dynamic method and this is the reason for this tutorial. It uses a DAX function in the DAX filter. And these are the two functions, right? We can use username or we can use user principal name as well. So now let's move on to the next point. Steps to create role level security. So these are just the general steps, okay? The first thing that we need to do here is create a report in Power BI Desktop. Everything starts in Power BI Desktop. Then we need to create roles in Power BI Desktop. Then we need to test the roles in Power BI Desktop. After that, we need to deploy the report to Power BI Service. And then in Power BI Service, we can add members, right? And these steps specifically work for the static method. Finally, guys, we can also test the roles in Power BI Service. So this is really, really important information. Please keep this in mind. So now, are you guys ready for the case? Let's move on to the next point. Case. So the question that we have here is to create a dynamic role level security role for one of the managers in Germany. Remember that in Germany, as a reference, the manager should be able to visualize data just for Germany. Now let's go to Power BI Desktop and let's start playing with that data, okay? All right, here we are in Power BI Desktop and before we start solving the question, let's take a quick look at the tables, okay? We have three tables here, the first one, this is the DAX measures table. We have a measure here called total profit. The second table is the fact table, the profits table. So let's take a quick look at the data here. This table basically has period, region, country, sales, cost, and profit. And then we also have the roles table. So for the roles table, we have an email. And this is key to create a dynamic role level security. And of course, the other fields are name last name title and country that each employee is looking after also remember the question that we had was we need to visualize information for germany for one of the managers right and for this particular case the manager is nestor adriansen this is the manager for germany and this is the email remember that so this means that when the user signs in with this email he will be able to see just the information for Germany because we are creating a dynamic role level security. So now let's go to model, okay? In order to create a dynamic role, we need to have a relationship between the roles table and the profits table. And as you guys can see, country is the key column, the common column. So let's create a relationship real quick and let's see what happens. So now we see this new window. We have a many-to-many -many relationship and we know that this is not good. 
So let's close this. Let's cancel. In order to solve this many-to-many -many relationship, what we can do is create an intermediate table. So let's do that real quick. Let's go to report here and then transform data. So now we are here in the home tab. Let's hit append queries real quick. Append queries as new. Check this out, my friends. This is a good feature that Power Query has. So we need to append two tables, profits and roles. Let's hit OK. And let's see what happens. There you go. So what's happening here? We are adding rows, right? Basically, we are adding rows to the first table. So we have the first table here, profits table, and then the other table is a roles table. We are adding every single row. And the goal is to have all countries that belong to both tables. Let's select this field right here, right click, and then remove other columns. Boom. Now, right click, remove duplicates. So now let's rename this table. Let's call this country. Okay. Let's hit enter. And now close and apply, my friends. It's loading. There you go. So now let's go to model and see what's happening. See right here? Automatically, there is a relationship between country and these two tables. See right there? See right there? So it's working perfectly. So now we have just unique values in this table. The country table has unique values. And that's going to help us to create the dynamic role level security. Another key step here is to do the following. So double click here, the relationship between country and roles. You guys can see here, cardinality is many to one. And this is the important step. Click right here, we need to select both. And also we need to hit this option, apply security feature in both directions. Let's hit okay. If we don't do this, we're gonna be in trouble, okay? See right here, it changed to both directions. So what is the issue if we don't do that? So the dynamic role level security wouldn't work. So perfect, now let's go back to report. And if you guys remember, we need to create a report here. So let's do this real quick. So let's create this visual and let's select country from the intermediate table right there and also profit from the measure. There you go. So this is the report. Next step, let's go to modeling here. Let's manage roles. Let's create a role and let's call this dynamic row level security. Okay, dynamic row level security. And then let's go to the roles table. Click right here, add filter, email. So we need to select email here. So this is the way that we can make this dynamic and we are going to use the user principal name function let's approve this save boom now we are ready to publish this report to the web to power bi service let's do that let's publish here save first it's saving and now what we need to do here is select the workspace. So I already created this workspace, role level security. I select this. And of course, you guys need to have a Power BI Pro license because we are publishing this Power BI report to the web. So it's publishing here, success, got it. And now let's go to Power BI service. All right, so here we are in Power BI service. And as you guys can see, here we have the report and here we also have the data set and data blocks. So click right here, 
security. And now we can test this role. Let's do that. Let's hit this option right here, the three horizontal dots here, test as role. And let's see what happens. Remember, we are looking into Germany only. Bingo, my friends, bingo. So here we have the information just for Germany. Why are we getting just for Germany? Because the user, if you guys remember, the user is Nestor Adriansen. Check this out. See right there, Nestor Adriansen. This is the email. And that's why we are only seeing information for Germany. This means that this role is working properly. So the same way works for the other users, right? So every time they sign in with their emails, so they will have information for that specific region or country. That's how it works, my friends. I hope you found this helpful. Now let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there. That was it, my friends. Thank you very much for your time. If you found this content helpful, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave your questions and comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.